trait do you think would give you the edge at the next level? I think my ability to quickly find the open receiver is what really sets me apart. I mean, it must have been a little easier with me out there, right? When you snap the ball, you throw it to Tommy, rinse and repeat. <laughs> Seriously, though, the past two years have really put things into perspective for me, and thanks to this guy, I'm just fortunate enough to have the opportunity to go to college and further my football career. Well, okay, gang, I think that puts us in a great place to go <laughs> to find out where these two are going. Tommy always got right, jokes. Who wants to go first? Well, you have the honors. It's the least I could do for all you've done for me. All right. Time to pick a school. Let's go. All right, let's see. Oh, Clemson, Miami, Florida, LSU, USC, Oregon, Michigan State, Nebraska, Oklahoma, and Texas. These are all really good schools. But I think I'm gonna have to go with uh, let's see here. Oklahoma has a really good coach. I think I'm gonna have to go with USC, baby. Southern Cal. So the decision is made. Tell us, when it came down to it, what led to this choice? Well, there's been a lot of elite talent that have walked those halls, and I'd love to add my name to that story list. Plus, the opportunity to play for a legend like Coach Miller, it's too much of a draw. Yeah, he's a guy that's had a ton of success with the school, and I think, I, I think there's a lot I can learn from him. All right. All right, Tommy. What you got for us? Yeah, Tommy. Where are you going? Let's see. Where's it going to be? <clears throat> they can't break us up. Oh, Tommy. Same place. <laughs> well, isn't it obvious? I mean... Batman needs his Robin. And My receiver. Can't break up this dynamic duo. But in this case, my Batman and Robin. I never said I wouldn't try to win back my own position. What? Challenge. Details rolling in, everybody, on today's crazy news. Coach Miller is stepping down from his illustrious college coaching career, and in his place, the school is promoting hotshot defensive coordinator Red O'Brien. Now, Coach O'Brien has been all the rage for quite some time, sitting at the top of a ton of schools' shortlist for head coaching gigs, but it sure looks like he's just going to stay put and take over the entire program. But what I really want to know is what it's going to mean for everyone's favorite dynamic duo, the Heartbreak Kids. I know you've both been sitting patiently for the past two years, waiting for your shot, so I made a decision. Been working hard, sitting on the bench. Neither one of you will be starting. What do you mean? We've done everything that you asked of us. How many of those do you guys have? Now, as I was saying, <laughs> both of you will be playing. Coach, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not switching positions. I'm not asking you to switch positions. You both give reps at QB. This is a defense first team now. That's right. So I don't need your heartbreak kids nonsense. All I need is for one of you to manage things and make sure the offense doesn't give the game away because my defense certainly won't. That's right. 
I like this coach. But you've seen what we did in high school. I don't care what the heartbreak kids did two years ago, son. I'm more concerned what you can do now in college. And winning a lot more at ease. So I want to rotate you guys. I'm going to stick with the hot hand until I see what I can get out of one of you. You'll start the first half. If you do well enough, you'll stay in. If not, we'll see what Tommy's got. Okay. You can't be serious. You two are competitors, right? Challenge! That's how you're going to have to approach this as a competition. Now go on, get out of here. Thank you all for watching. Peace.